Alright, this is Sullivan from smhack.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to hack an iPod. So what you're going to end up be doing is taking music off from your buddy's iPod and putting it on your hard drive on your iTunes uh, library. So first off, what you want to do is go to iTunes. Under the devices, there should be your friend's iPod. Under there, there's an options column and you need to click enable disk use. What this does is it makes it so your iPod is now removable storage so it can be used now as like a flash drive or whatever. So this is already clicked, we don't need to worry about that. So now you're going to want to go to my computer. Now you can see uh, your friend's iPod as removable storage. Double click that. Now what you're going to want to do is press the Alt tab, Tools, Folder Options, View, then there's a folder that says hidden files and folders click show hidden files and folders this is already done because I've done this with multiple iPods already so click OK now you're gonna see a whited out folder called iPod control double click that and now you have pretty much everything on your iPod but the music is in the music folder which this is all the music and all you need to do is press control A which highlights them all and then you can just copy and paste them on your computer I already have all these songs on my uh, hard drive right now, so from there, all you need to do is put them on your iTunes. Fortunately, as far as we know, you gotta enter each folder individually, copy and paste them in your iTunes playlist. So right now it's adding all the MP3 files, MP3 files, and don't get too worried when you see the little random four-letter code. We don't know what that's about right now, but as far as we're concerned, you played in Windows Media Player, you played in iTunes, the song name with the artist pops up. And remember, this is for educational purposes only because this is stealing the artist's artist's work, and we don't want anybody to get in trouble with this. So feel free to check out more hacks like this at www.smhack.com.